Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices and starting with the we're looking at the DAX here on the daily chart and we know that I just want to talk about both directions here for a moment um, we know that we know that this is a third wave down through here and this is wave four and then a one and two and three and four and five here so this is a wave four here so it's possible that this move up through here um, it's been quite sluggish compared to the S&P 500 and also the, the Euro um, uh, net as well. So we'll have a look at that. Um, so um, it's possible that this can be a wave four here um, a, a, as an A and a B and a C wave here to the wave four of one lesser degree here. It is above the 38.2% retracement level, which is about here. Um, so it is it is above that, um, but that's okay because of this level here. So this is likely to move uh, higher here, um, but still be part of a corrective pattern here. I'm looking at it bullish, but it's important to look at both sides of the market. But what I wanted to do is just we have a look at this here, and then we have a look at the the Euronet 100. Um, and this is the Euronet here, 100, and you can see that it's really gone past its, you know, previous wave four here. Not that that's a big deal. I mean, we could also look at this from, you know, this this top. Oops, wrong charting program. This from this top here, and have a look at this down here, and we're already past the 61.8 percent. Yeah, sure, we could go to the 78.6, which is probably a little bit higher than where it is now, and this will also move higher here as well. So it's, you know, and also to this particular pattern here, um, you know, you could, it doesn't look very corrective, does it? I mean, you could look at it as a corrective pattern, no, no doubt, um, but it looks more, you know, it's got the feeling of an impulse wave. I mean, with the DAX, coming back to the DAX here for a moment, which has been very sluggish off the, off the lows here, you know, you could look at this as a corrective pattern, and we can do that here by looking at this DAX here in terms of having a wave three low here, and having this up here as wave A here, and A and a B and a C for wave B, and then one and two, and one and two and three and four and five here for the third wave, the fourth wave. The fourth wave can be here or it can be under here as well, probably best suited under here. And then looking for five waves up through here. We're currently trading long here at the moment. Um, but it can count as an A and a B and a C here. There's no problems with that as a wave four and even though it's above the 38.2% retracement level. So yeah, I mean, in this case here, it would top out, say, close to the 18, uh, 11, 11, 800 area through here and then move down. But even our bullish count has got this as, um, you know, having a, a top in play here as well. Um, but look, that count is, is valid. Um, um, yeah, so anyway, I just wanted to to, to run through that. Um, into, we'll have a look at a couple of other bullish counts to the upside on the daily chart first. <clears throat> we can um, we can look at it like this with wave one to this point and wave two to here. And then um, we can count this as five waves here for wave one and back for wave two here. So if this was a wave four here, for instance, then in this case, the market would have to move below this 61.8% here before we became bearish at this particular point here. Um, it's also possible to count this up here in a different way as well. Um, I mean, I like to have a look at all the different ways that a market can be and then pretty much get strategies um, in, in play for, for, for that. So I've just got to find some counts here. So this is another count here. And this is because of this little pattern within here. Because on the cash market, it looks like we've just come straight up for one here. But because we've got the futures market in here, um, it's possible to look at this as wave one and two here, and then one and two and three and four, and then one, two, three, four, five for the third wave. And A and a B and a C for the fourth wave. And then one, two here. 
and one and two and three and four and five here for the third wave and A and a B you see for the fourth wave and then up here for the fifth wave close to 11800 um, as wave five of five of one here and then have an ABC for two here. Now in this case then the market would be pulling back a little bit further let's just assume for a moment that it gets close to that so and then in this particular case here we'll obviously come lower from this point here so um, there's that scenario so there's one you know that, that scenario that we've just had previous to this which would bring us down to about these about this level here for a wave two and then we've got this wave two here so in reality um, you know we couldn't turn totally bearish on this unless we we're under this under this you know under this wave too low here for this and of course we will know before this occurs because we'll be able to tie it into um, other markets um, as well so I just want to go to the I think it's the one hour chart here two hour chart two hour charts got the same thing here as well um, as wave one and two and three and four and having five up here um, yeah, so I've sort of relabeled this here a little bit here. I know that on our website we've got this as a top here, but I just it's just a better count here with one and two and one and two here and then three A B C for four here and then up for five here for the third. Um and an A and a B and a C here for, for this and then counting up uh up here for this and in fact that wave one here can go to this point here. Um, yeah, so we're still in this little run here um, on the one hour chart here. Um, this is, we've, we're, we've had all these counts, but on the one hour chart here is where we put our trades. And <clears throat> as I mentioned, the, all the possibilities here would run out with this being an A wave here. If, if we had this as wave one here, which is not the case. Um, but an A and a B and a C here for this. So this is why we went long here because we know that any move above any move above these highs here, then we'll be in, in a bullish mode from here. So we're we're long here at the moment. Um, if we were going to go short, we were going to have a small position here because of the bounce here. So we can pretty much just turn around for this now and have this as the stop here. And in fact, we can move the stop up here to. Oopsie daisy. Um, we can move that up here just under here for break even here. So this should move continue to to um to, to move to the to the upside now for for this. So um, we can look at this. I don't need those there now. I mean by understanding uh, by having a few counts, then it's just I mean it's possible that this is in here too as, as this is what we've got on our web, as wave one here and a and a b and a c here for wave two we'll see we'll know that shortly i'm going to leave it like this for the time being but um it's not going to affect us it's not going to affect any of the the trades that we have on but what it will do it will just remind us that if this count is correct we want to see a powerful wave structure come in here and mind you we are here this is really quite strong here now isn't it it's quite it's quite powerful but let's just uh see um how this goes at this particular stage also to the footsie um Let's find that for a moment. Here we go. So with the FTSE here, I've got this counted differently once again, but it does take us up to that wave one here. And it's looking all of this as wave one, two, and three, and four here, and then going up for five waves here. Um, one of the other things that I wanted to look at here was, um, yeah, this market. This is the the all, all the shares. the FTAS and here you can see that it's just a little bit cleaner here that's all so from here we can see that we've got a nice one and two here nice strong third wave here fourth and fifth so we can look at this as wave one and two here and the third wave up here and you can see how this is going sideways here so it must be the fourth wave 
and then moving up for the fifth wave. So obviously this is moving into 4,000 here. So this is this is going to be what we call a medium level as well. So we'll be looking for a little five waves uh, in that sequence to um, from these lows here to into 4,000 uh, area there for, for that. So um, yeah, that's the FTAS here. So all shares um, on that. So it just cleans it up a little bit rather it's a bit difficult to look at it like this here um i thought that we're getting we're getting a triangle uh in in here for for this market and it's still possible but um let's just go to i think it's the hourly chart or could be the two hour chart and it's fine so let me just check the two hour chart just got to see where we're working okay this is where we're working so um, yeah, look, it's still possible to have it as a as a triangle pattern uh, here. It would be like an A wave, a B wave, a C wave, um, a D wave, and an E wave to this point right here, and then that would just give us one, two, three, four, five, and finish here, right? So if this market pulls back down too far, like here somewhere, then we know that's not not the case. But I prefer this count here where we just have it as an A and a B and a C here because even though this one here I mean, like you could probably squeeze five waves out of it. It, it. it counts better as three. But the problem with that is this one here counts quite nicely as five waves up here. And then an A and a B and a C here. So I think that this is this is probably more the case here. And we have wave one here, A, B, C for two here. And then the third wave is one, two, three, four, five here. And then we would come back to the fourth wave of one lesser degree here. So at most, we would come back into this space here for that little wave four. So if the market moves below this too far here, then you know that we've got a top in play. But otherwise, we will continue to look at it like this here. So wave three, wave four, and wave five for three here, then back for four, and then up for five here to complete this. So a fair bit more to go here with, with this market. And for France as well, on the daily chart here, um, I've got this as a wave four here. It, it possibly could be a wave one here, but the problem with that is that this move up here does not look like it's a corrective move. And secondly, it's already moved past its 61.8%. Uh, it's okay, the square root of that, of course, is 78.6. So it's okay to finish uh, in this space here as well, but it will move a little bit uh, higher here still. If we just cut straight through into the hourly chart uh, here, we're looking at, um, well, wave three here, an A and a B and a C for wave four here. And then this little move up here for wave one and two here. And I think that this is one, well, one ABC for wave two here. And then this is a third wave and a fourth wave and a fifth wave. So I still think that we've got a little bit more to uh, to play out here. And um, then there'll be a wave four across this level here with the 400. Um, and then move up from that point there as well. So we're long here so we can still move our stop up here to a safe place which will be just we could put it under here but let's just bring it back a little bit let's you know i mean to to make money takes courage because you need to stay in the trend so but this is a logical place to keep it so we'll do that and um, we'll look to 5,500 here for this market to, to play out. And for the MIB, <clears throat> we were looking at being long <clears throat> um, here. And um, so I've, all I've done is just move the stop up into this point here. This will probably be come down and clip it out here um, as an A and a B and a C wave here, coming back to the wave four of one lesser degree here. If we look at the four hour chart just for a moment, um, there does look like to be a bit more upside here if I count from wave four here and got one and two here and then one and two and three and four and five coming into here. The thing is though, um, if we use the classic trading levels pattern, which is the arrival, the reaction, 
and the first high above the level. So that's what we've got so far. We've got the arrival, we've got the reaction, and we're looking for the first high above the level here. So that once that comes into play here, um, then we'll see some type of correction uh, coming into play here. So an A and a B and a C. So then we can look to go long, you know, from these highs here, this second high here, a line through here, or just simply getting, I prefer to get back onto support over here, unless we've, unless this line here can get us in much closer down through here. But um, certainly back onto um, the uh, 2100 there as the 21,000 there as the support. Um, so yeah, a um, bit of a tight game here. So normally we'd trade to the level and get out, um, but anyway we just did a little short trade in in a little long trade for a short period within there um and and, I'm sh and i just assumed that you'd be out on the friday there anyway all right um that's it so thanks for tuning in much appreciated